Good morning, students. This is 11th Standard Botany video class, video 6. In this video, we are going to continue the lesson Reproductive Morphology. Dear students, in the previous video class, we have seen different types of mixed inflorescence, special type of inflorescence, different whorl of a flower, then different types of flower based upon the presence or absence of the whorl, that is perfect flower and imperfect flower. And also based upon the sex organs, the flower is divided into staminate flower, pistillate flower and bisexual flower. After this only, we have seen in the previous video class. Today, in this video, we are going to continue the next topic that is plant sex. Dear students, see the topic plant sex that is it is based upon the presence and distribution of the floral walls that is the world which is responsible for reproduction. How this reproductive walls which is present in the flower whether it is presence or absence of the individual plant we are denoting the plant sex. It is divided into different types. First one hermoproduct hermoproductic or hermoproduct. Here dear students all the flowers which is present in the individual plant flowers are bisexual. Dear students what is bisexual flower? Male sex organ, female sex organ that is andesium and gynesium which is present in the same flower, number of flowers which is present in the individual plant, all are bisexual. That type of plant sex is known as hermoproductic. Another one, monoecious, mono, that means single or one, ochios, which means house. Both male and female flowers are present in the same plant but different location is known as coconut is known as monoecious example coconut another one dioecious di means two ochios means house two houses male and female flowers are present on a separate plant is known as dioecious example papaya and palmyra dear students see the diagram First one is the bisexual flower, a single flower which contains both male sex organ and female sex organ. That flower is known as bisexual, that means two sex organs are present in the single flower. Second one, monoecious, central, they are having the plant axis or a stem. Two different flowers are present on a same plant. That is said to be mono, only one or single, ochios means house. That is said to be monoecious. Okay. Dear students, see the diagram. First one, the flower which contains only the andresium, that means filament and anther lobe, that is known as stamens. That flower is known as staminate flower or male flower. See the second diagram, dioecious. So dioecious means male flower which is present in the separate plant, female flower which is present in the separate plant. So two different houses are there. 
So, this condition of a plant is known as dioecious plant. Dear students, the last type of plant sex is polygamous. Polygamous means different gametes are, that means sex organs are present in the individual plant is known as polygamous. That means bisexual flower and unisexual flower that is staminate flower or pistillate flower occur in a same plant is known as polygamous flower. Example Musa and Mangifera. Mangifera is the binomial name of mango. Musa is the binomial name of plant and tree. Varamaro. Okay. So in this plant, the flower which contains different types of flowers which is present in the same flower, plant. That condition is known as polygamous. Poly means many. Gamous means, what is that one? Different sex organ. That is bisexual flower and the unisexual what is that one staminate flower separately pistillate flower separately which is present in the same plant is known as polygamous flower example musa and mangifera what is polygamous flower give example is a very very important two mark and three mark question Kindly note down in your textbook what is polygamous flower. Give example. Different types of sex organs or flower which is present in the same plant that is bisexual flower, staminate flower and pistillate flower are present in the same plant is known as polygamous flower. Example Musa and Mangifera. Dear students, see the picture. First one, calyx, green color. Corolla, red color. Only gynecium is present in the flower. Gynecium is the female sex organ. So, this flower is known as female flower or pistillate flower. See the second diagram. Central, they are having the main axis or shoot or a stem. Different types of flowers are present in the same plant. At the base, a flower with both the sex organs are present. That is bisexual flower. In the left side, they are having only the flower with stamens. That is staminate flower. Right side at the top, flower with pistil. So, pistillate flower. So, three types of flower which is present in the same plant is known as polygamous flower. Example, Musa and Mangifera. Dear students, the polygamous flowers are divided into different types. One is andromonaceous. Andro means andresia, that is stamen. Monaceous. What is monaceous? Both the sex organs are separately located in the single plant is known as monaceous. Andromonaceous means a plant with both and it means what is that one? Male flower. And bisexual flower that is said to be andromonaceous. Another one, gynomonaceous. Gyno means gynesium, female flower, isn't it? A plant with both pistillate or female flower and bisexual flower is known as gynomonaceous. The next one. Polygamomonaceous. So, polygamomonaceous means what is that one? Pistillate flower, staminate flower, and bisexual flowers are present in the same plant is known as 
polygamomonaceous or it is called a trimonaceous that means three three types of plants are present in the individual plant the next one androdiaceous andro means what is that one staminate flower are in one individual plants that means the male plant which are having only staminate flowers another plant which are having bisexual flower that it said to be andro but dioecious two houses is there isn't it that it said to be andro dioecious next one gyno dioecious that means a plant with pistillate flower in one individual plant then bisexual flower in the on the other individual that it said to be gyno dioecious then polygamo dioecious a plant with staminate pistillate bisexual in one individual and pistillate flowers in pistillate flowers and bisexual flowers in other individual that is said to be polygamo dioecious so last one trioecious a plant with bisexual flower pistillate flower and staminate flowers are present in the different individual that means different individual plant that is known as trioecious so this are all the different types of polygamous flower is the important two mark question dear students up to this we have seen plan 6 based upon the presentation of sex organ in the individual plant they are divided into different types with the example we have seen in the previous paragraph now we are going to see the essential world of a flower dear students in the previous video class i told you flower is the reproductive organ and also modified shoot of an organ which consists of four walls calyx first wall corolla second wall antecium third wall gynecium is the fourth wall out of this calyx and corolla they do not responsible for the reproduction but they are helping to the reproductive process so they are known as accessory whorl or helping whorl the remaining two that is antecium and gynecium antecium male sex organ gynecium female sex organ both of them responsible for reproductive function or a process so these two worlds are known as essential or important world of a flower or reproductive world of a flower so here first we are going to see antecium antecium is the third world of a flower and also male reproductive part of a flower this antecium which con consists of individual unit is known as stamens these stamens are otherwise known as microsporophylls one more question stamens are otherwise known as dash what is that one microsporophylls each stamen which consists of two parts one is the long slender that means straight stalk like portion is known as filament or a thread like portion is known as filament at the tip of the filament they are having the kidney shape or bean shape or oval shaped lobe is there that is known as anther lobe this filament and anther which are connected by a tissue is known as connective tissue so this are all the three important parts of an 
स्टेमन सी द डायग्राम फर्स्ट वन इज द डॉर्सल व्यू दट मीन अपर सर्फेस ए स्लेंडर साक् लाइक पोर्शन और थ्रेड लाइक पोर्शन इज नोन एस फिलमेंट अट द टिप ऑफ द फिलमेंट दे आर हाविंग द लोब इज नोन एस आंतर सी द सेकेंड व्यू दट इज वेंटर व्यू और लोवर व्यू दिस आंतर लोब एंड फिलमेंट विच आर कनेक्टेड बै ए टिश्यू इज नोन एस कनेक्टिव टिश्यू सो दिस आर ऑल द थ्री इंपार्टेंट पार्ट आफ य Stamen. The diagram of a stamen is very very important for two more question. They will give the diagram, and they ask you to redraw the diagram and label the parts, and find out the name of the figure or a picture. Dear students, now we are going to see each and every part of a stamen. First one. Anther. At the uppermost part of a stamen, which is swollen part, that means globose or oval shape of a part, which contains sporangia at the center. A sporangium, which is present in the side of the anther lobe, is known as microsporangia. What is that one? Microsporangia. Second one, a small, slender stalk or thread-like portion is known as filament or stalk of a stamen. Next one, connective, a tissue which connects the filament and the anther lobe is known as. connective tissue dear students each anther lobe which consists of two compartments that means chamber two chamber or a room is called a theca singular is theca plural is theca each anther which contains two compartments chamber or a room is known as tk or theca each theca which consists of two microsporangia so typically anther which consists of two compartment each compartment they are contain two microsporangia totally how many microsporangia in individual anther Four microsporangia. Okay, so these two microsporangia are fused to form a chamber is known as locule, or a cavity is known as locule. So inner side of the anther, they are having the two compartment known as theca. Each theca, which consists of two microsporangia. These two microsporangia are fused to form a chamber or a cavity, is known as locule. In some of the plants, the anther, that means the individual one of the antherium, it's said to be stamen, which is responsible for the reproduction. In some plants, the stamen. which do not take part in the reproductive process those stamens are known as sterile stamen or staminode sorry staminode what is that one staminode staminate means male sex organ is known as staminate n a t e staminode means the stamen do not take part in the reproduction or sterile stamens Are known as staminode. Example: cassia. Next one: distinct. Distinct means the stamens are free; they are not fused together. They are separately or individually located without disturbing others. 
that is said to be distinct stamen. Next one, free. That means the stamens which do not fuse with the other part of a flower. What is the other part? Either calyx or corolla or gynecium. That is said to be free stamens. The stamen do not fuse with the other part of a flower or whorl of a flower. Next one, apostamenus. So, apostamenus means the flowers with the stamens free and distinct. Two more question. What is apostamenus? Flower. Flowers with the distinct stamen and also free stamen. Distinct means what is that one? They do not fuse to one another. Second one free means the stamens do not fuse with the other world of a flower. So, apostamenus flower means flower with the stamens that are free and also distinct. That is known as apostamenus flower. Dear students, up to this we have seen structure of an stamen. Next we are going to see fusion of stamens. Dear students, some of the flowers, the stamen which are fused together among themselves or it may be fused with the other floral whorl of a flower. So this fusion of stamen is divided into two types. One is conation, another one is the adnation. Conation, conate, conate means the stamens which are fused together. That means among themselves. That means one stamen is fused with another stamen. That is known as conate. So in the previous line also I told you, stamen which are fused among themselves or it may be fused with the other floral parts. So first one conation or conate which means the stamen which are fused with another stamen. That is said to be fusion of stamen among themselves is known as conate or conation. This conation is divided into three types. One is adulpi, syngenesious and synandrous. Dear students, fusion of stamen is very very important. Two mark, three mark and five mark question. Kindly note down in your textbook. Fusion of stamen is divided into two types. Conation. Conation means stamens are fused among themselves. is known as conation or conate. It is divided into three types. One is adulpi, syngenesious. Third one, synandrous. First one, adulpi. So adulpi means bundle. What is that one? Bundle. Each stamen which consists of three parts we have seen in the previous paragraph that is a stalk is known as filament. At the tip there globose structure is known as anther lobe. Both of them connected by a tissue connective tissue. So here adulpi means in the individual flower they are having many stamens with the filaments. The filaments are joined together, connect together to form a different bundle, one bundle or two bundle. But the anther lobes are free. Dear students, kindly note down. The filaments only fuse together, but the anthers are free. That is said to be adulpi. First one, mono adulpus. Mono, which means what is that one? One or a single. The filament of a 
stamen which are joined together or connect together or among themselves to form a one bundle or a single bundle that is known as monoadulpus example malvaceae family hibiscus rosa sinensis that is china rose another example is cotton plant in both the plants the filament of the stamen fuse together to form a single bundle that is known as monoadulpus dear students differentiate between monoadulpus diadulpus and polyadulpus are the different important two mark and three mark question dear students see the diagram this is the andrisium of the hibiscus flower there is china rose see many stamens is there at the tip they are having yellow color anther lobe the long filament is known as long stalk is known as filament see all the filaments are joined together which forms a red color tube is known as bundle how many bundle is there only one bundle so this is said to be monoadulpi example china rose or hibiscus and cotton plant next one diadulpus di means what is that one two so if the filament of the stamens are fused together to form a two different bundle is known as diadulpus example fabaceae family that is pea plant patani chedi avaraka beans kotavaranga we are saying that one isn't it so this is all known as pea plant in those plants the flower which consists of many stamens the filament of the stamens are fused together to form a two bundle that adulpi is known as diadulpus next one polyadulpus poly which means what is that one many here the filaments of the stamens are fused together to form a more than two bundle or many bundle that is known as polyadulpus example citrus flower and bombax those are all the other two types of adulpi diadulpus and polyadulpus dear students see the diagram is a fabaceae family member andrisium there contains many stamens totally how many stamens are present in this flower means 10 stamens the filament of the nine stamens are fused together to form a one bundle remaining only one stamen the 10th stamen which forms the another bundle so how many bundle is there two bundle this condition is known as dioecious adulpi that means sorry not dioecious di adulpi that means two bundle dear students see the next diagram here the stamens are infinite that means countless nareya irukku okay each and every stamen which are having the filaments the filaments which are fused together and divided into five branches each branches are known as bundle so in this flower more than two bundles are present this adulpi is known as polyadulpus poly means many bundle or more than two bundle that adulpi or conate is known as polyadulpus so this are all the three types of adulpi 
mono adulpus only one bundle di adulpus two bundle poly adulpus more than two bundle or many bundle dear students the adult p first type as we have seen that means in conation the first type of conate is said to be adult p which is divided into three types we have seen the second type is known as syngenesious what is that one syngenesious dear students here the anther lobes are conate but filaments are free see the variation in adult p the filaments are fused together stamens are free but in the syngenesious type of conation which one is conate anther lobes are joined together conate but filaments are free example astraceae family so astraceae family for example dahlia flower sunflower chrysanthemum my marigold samandhi poo surya gandhi solrolia they are belongs to the family is known as astraceae then the third type is synandrous here both filaments and stamens sorry both filaments and anther lobes are completely fused together that is known as synandrous example coccinea covaca covaca la that flower which consists of stamen that is filaments and anther lobe both filaments and anther lobes of all the stamens fused together are connected together that is known as synandrous example coccinea this are all the different types of conation adult p syngenesious and synandrous dear students i hope have you all understood what is andrisium a single unit of andrisium is stamen different parts of a stamen then fusion of a stamen divided into conation and adnation conation divided into three types adult p syngenesious and synandrous remaining we will see in the next video class god bless you all the best children